Well, 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 we are here. <laughs> um, there's a lot to update. Life has changed over the past month. And uh, yeah, I kind of want to let you guys know how everything's going. So um, I kind of want to talk about what it is to live by yourself as a single Christian man. So let me kind of break it down to you guys. How are you guys doing? Doing everything, Everything's doing well? Doing good? I'm doing awesome. Um, all right, so check it out. Last month, I just graduated from my master's, right? And uh, that was like in August, okay? And then um, I was I was always looking for jobs, right? So I was in I was actually in the job process, um, the job process, the interview process for a, a really good paying job, and. Um, and I would have had to move out of Orlando, but uh, but still, you know, I was I was okay with it, right? And I was in that process for literally like four months, from like March to July, and I did three rounds of interviews, and at the end, nothing. And I was like, dude, what? Like, so while that was going on, I applied to other jobs. So I applied to a, a state job in Tallahassee, and they actually gave me the job, but it was a little too far. I applied to a state job here in Tampa. And I was like, if they gave me the job, this one, this one would be better for me because it's closer to home at least. So I drove to Tampa, I went over there, I did the interview, everything went well. Two weeks later, they gave me a call and they gave me the job. So that was all August. August was really crazy because, mind you, um, you know, I, as far as like moving out, like I had I had the thought of it like a year ago, like, you know, it would be, it would be, it would be okay. It would be cool to do it like in the sense of like, if that opportunity was to arise, I would be okay. Si me tienes, no me voy a negar de eso, ¿sí? Pero yo decía, o sea, it wasn't also, you know, oh, I want to leave, I want to get out. No, it wasn't, it wasn't like that either. But kind of like that, you know, I was like, if, if it was to happen, you know, I wouldn't be opposed to it. Uh, after I finish my master's, you know, in between whatever I want to do in the future, apply to medical school or whatever. So um that was already in my mind so when this opportunity came and i was praying as well and i had spoken to my pastor and and my family obviously you know people close to me were helping me pray for that the you know the door opened there the job and um, i accepted it and it was a really big decision for me and that whole month i was prepping for the move and, and getting ready so on the last week of august um that's when i had my final service here in orlando and it was super emotional saying bye. I've been here my whole life. You know, I'm an only child with my mother, my, my stepfather. And uh, I've been here my whole life in Orlando growing up. Imagine all my friends. So it was a huge decision and saying goodbye to everybody. Although, you know, it's not far, but still the the routine of seeing people, you know, two or three, to three times a week, being at events together, all of that, you know, be visiting homes and stuff like that and chilling, you know that was it was really hard to let go so that last week was super emotional and um and um and yeah but it really made me realize you know that people did care about me and and there was a, a group of people who who really cherished me and loved me and wished the best for me and prayed for me so that really meant a lot to me and um I did the despedida the following week, the last week of August, I started moving everything. So while that was going on, after I had accepted and, you know, I was prepping and everything, you know, I got in touch with the pastor over here and, you know, they helped me kind of, um, they connected me with a family over here. So I was already, you know, God was kind of ordering everything and I was figuring out, you know, where I'm going to stay, how's it going to be, you know, how far it's work and all that. So all that happened the last month of August, I did the move brought everything and uh I, I stayed here officially i said goodbye to my parents and um and yeah so once i finally kind of settled in here moved in i started work i've been doing training pretty much you know starting and um doing training at work and getting to know everybody in the routine and everything what the job entails and i i can honestly say that um you know, the move has been, it's been really good. It's been really good. I've been adjusting to this lifestyle. And a lot of people have told me beforehand, you know, like, Dylan, you're gonna, people were telling me, like, Dylan, do a madurar. You're gonna mature, you're gonna grow. You're gonna learn a lot of new experiences, right? You're gonna learn how to be responsible. And, you know, I knew that was gonna come. But what, now, once I started living by myself, you know, I realized what they actually meant. And uh, it's just funny to me because, like, 
Now I understand, right? So I like it because of the lessons, the valuable lessons that I've had to learn. And um, aside from from work and, and from church and everything going well, but, you know, for example, like um, managing my time, you know, organizing myself. Not that I wasn't organized, but organizing myself even more, right? Cooking, you know, I think you guys saw like on my IG, I was posting cooking videos. My mom was teaching me how to cook before I left. I still need to learn, but I, you know, I can't buy food every day. Oh, I'm not going to waste money like that. Um, going to the grocery shop and all those things, uh, I'm living that. So, for example, right, like um, my first week, I, I cook in batches for the whole week. So, uh, my first week, I cooked, you know, chicken, potatoes, rah, right? And I meal prepped it for the whole week. But then what I realized is that when I was meal prepping and putting in the in the in the vasijas and the things, um, I realized it wasn't enough. I had cooked too little. So now I know for the next time, I'm like, all right, bet. Now, next time I know I need to cook a little bit more. Another example, you know, when I was going to grocery shopping, I was buying fruits because I have a, a, a friend gifted me a smoothie. Um, smoothie gifted me a... Uh, blah, 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 blah. A blender and uh, which is awesome I've been using it every day and uh, I bought fruits and I bought bananas and three four days later they're already ruined and I'm like oh and I didn't even use them so I'm like oh my so now I know you know okay you know I don't need to buy so many things right or you know be smart with what I buy what I use you know um, so it's just funny it's, it's, it's things like that and here's another example that I've been learning so far where managing my time in the sense of like uh, it, it, it's, took, it's taken me a couple of weeks to figure out, okay, you know, the drive, get used to the drive to work, the traffic, how long is it going to take me to make breakfast, to pack my lunch in the morning, you know, what time do I get home, what, how, what time do I get home after work, uh, what can I do after work, you know, so for example, like in the morning, I've been noticing, it's happened to me a couple of days where I wake up and I, I, I'll go to work at eight, right? So I'll, I'll wake up early and I say, okay, but I think this is enough time for me to, you know, shower. I have my iron, my clothes ironed. If I need to iron, I can iron them and then, you know, prep my food. And from work, I'm like half an hour. So I'm like, okay, but, you know, I think it's, but no, it wasn't enough. And it happened to me like two or three times where I'm like rushing to get my, and I'm like, nah, this is it. So now I know, you know, I was like, all right, bet. Now I need to go, I need to wake up earlier, which means I need to go to sleep earlier. So it's things like that, that I'm learning or, and nobody's on top of me. It's things that I'm learning myself, you know, a couple of days ago, I sat down and I was like, all right, I have my income. I need to, uh, I need to sit down and make an Excel sheet and see what, what I'm paying, you know? So boom, boom, I sat down, it took me like, you know, an hour and a half, dun, 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 I sat down. And I noticed, I'm like, man, why am I paying the subscription? You know, like, oh, why am I, you know, so I'm seeing what's coming in, what's coming out. And I'm like, yeah, I need to be, like, I, I need to be smarter with what, with what I have and, and uh, manage it correctly, things like that. So it's things like, it's things like that where uh, it's, this has like pushed me to, to be even more responsible. And, um, and I think, uh, I think as far as like with my mother and, and my family, you know, I, I, I miss them a lot. And my mom calls me. And uh, she, she told me that she really misses me and, you know, que me extraña. And every time we see each other, like, the hug is not like how it was before. It was every hug that we do now is, is like, tighter and it's longer. And it's kind of like, oh, you know, I missed you, this and that. So um, I miss what's really hit, hit me hard is the food, <laughs> you know, because I cook and all that. But it's still not the same. And, and, and living by yourself, you realize you, like, I'm realizing all of the unconscious things that you that you expect to be there. For example, here's another good example of how it's been. Like when the first week I was moving here, I was you know setting up my room. I had to buy a table. I went to IKEA, and um, and when I you know when I'm shopping, I'm like, oh you know I gotta buy a hand soap, right? So I'm like, all right, bet, boom, I go to Walmart, buy hand soap, come back home, and I'm like, oh my goodness, I don't have the thing to put the soap in and it's got to look cute so i'm like oh so the next day i go about it so it's like things like that where i was like uh, you you unconsciously think they're gonna be there but they're not there you know every little thing you know um paper towels cleaning utensils everything everything how to scrub this and that and and bro like i'm realizing how expensive things are i went to go grocery shopping i'm like all right bam, i'm gonna buy eggs Get some spices to cook but not 80 dollars. i'm like yo what so i was already thinking like yo that's me single imagine me married with kids like that's crazy bro so 
uh, it's things that I've been uh, learning and, 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 and growing in. And uh, I, I really like that aspect. You know, it's, it's been teaching me a lot of things. Um, Money-wise, time-wise, you know, when I have to cook, I know, because, you know, I'm, rent I'm renting a room right now. So, obviously, the house isn't mine. So, I know, okay, when I cook, it's going to be at least two hours because I got to prep, I got to cook, then I got to clean, you know, because I can't le just leave the plates there. So that takes me a good minute. So boom, I come from work, and that's another thing. I come from work, and you know I'm so used to my mom. Oh, the, the food's there. You know the coffee's and that. No, come home from work. I'm tired. I'm like, now I gotta cook, and I'm like, uh, but I have to do. What am I gonna do? You know that's why I cook for the whole week because I don't have to do it every day. So uh, things like that. You know when am I gonna? Okay, boom, I gotta set my my schedule to wash my clothes to clean my stuff and so that. You know there's nobody on top of me anymore. You know. Um, another thing that I've noticed that has been really important that, that I really I like too is is that uh, with church and, and my spirituality, my spiritual relationship with God, like I've been noticing that um, no, like nobody's on top of me. Nobody. It's my responsibility to look for the Lord. It's my responsibility to pray. It always has been, but you know, when you're living with your parents, you at least somebody have have somebody who's gonna push you, or motivate you. You know, come, come, Dylan, this and that. You know. But, you know, when you live alone, it's, it's, that desire has to come out of you. I'm going to seek the Lord. I'm going to pray. I'm going to wake up earlier to pray or I, you know, I'm going to get to service on time or, or early, you know, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And, um, you know, everything that my parents told, taught me, it's like, it's like, I have to, I have to put it into, into practice, you know, because, um, I, you know, every time I, Something that I also like or that I've been realizing is like when I whenever I wake up, I'm just sometimes I just like sit down. I'm like, I could do whatever I want, but it's not like, oh, I'm going to do whatever I want. Who cares? Like, it's more of I look at it more of the responsibility behind my actions. You know, everything that my parents ta taught me, I have to apply it now. And now, you know, all the consejos, everything that I received, you know, now it's my opportunity to apply it in my life. So, um, I really do like that space, that freedom, that that independency. Be that uh, the, that yeah, that, that uh, it's independencia, you know, the ability to to be like yeah, I'm gonna go here, do this, do that, I'm gonna go to church, and nobody's on top of me. But I don't know, it's just something I don't know. Maybe as a man, it's something where it's like I have more control, and I like that. And um, yeah, yeah, it's been really cool. You know, the church have they've received me very well. Mary been making new friends. Uh, work has been good too. And um, yeah, what else do I have to say? It still feels weird living by myself, you know. But uh, I've been liking it so far. I I, I like it, and um, and I think it's a good experience for a man to to go through. So. What else can I say? Being by myself, la la. Hmm. Yeah, so it's been a really crazy experience. Learning a lot of things. You know, taking care of my stuff. Um, being smart with my money. And um, I miss my church. I miss my friends. And um, yeah. Yeah, it's just like I'm by myself now. You know, so the decisions that I make are my decisions, whether I mess it up or whether I do good. They're my decisions, my consequences, right? Uh, not, that, not that they weren't before, but you get what I'm saying. Like now that I'm by myself, right? So, um, and I'm, I'm noticing, brother, I'm getting old. I'm getting old. Like, you know you're getting old when you go to Ikea and I'm already walking around like, oh, wow, like this would look nice in my room. I'm like, yo, what am I doing? Like, what? You know, now I, now I go to other places and I'm like, oh, this is so cute. Like, oh, what? and I'm like, yo, look at this deal. And I'm like, bro, what am I doing? Like, I'm like an old head for real. You know, and like now I've been doing I'm looking at deals. I'm like, yo, I'm saving money. This and that. I'm like, yo, this looks nice in my room or whatever. And I'm like, yo, I'm getting, I'm becoming an old head for real. Like, so, and I'm only 24, <laughs> but it's that, I think that's what, you know, everybody meant by that maturing part. So yeah yeah um it's been really fun it's been really interesting it's only been a month but i've already learned a lot and um we'll see how everything keeps going you know we'll see what god has in store for me and in, in the future with, with work and, and my future in school and 
everybody bro, the the only question that people ask me now like every old head ask me why'd you move to tampa what are you doing and when are you getting married i'm like bro no not yet like stop asking me these questions like that's all old heads care about that's all people care about oh, you call it the i'm like so it's just funny bro um but yeah that's pretty much it i don't know uh, if i have anything more i'll think of i'll, I'll find out but Wanted to give you guys an update. Everything's going good, thank God. And uh, I'm going to stay focused in, in work and church and my music that I'm releasing, my album, um, and uh, real estate. So many things that, that, I, that I have control of now that I need to focus on. So, yeah, it's been really dope. It's been really dope. So, if you like this video, if you support my content, if you support my music, uh, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate everybody who does. It really means a lot to me. And, um, and yeah, thank you so much. So God bless you and love you guys.